If I'm Lamont Peterson, I'm giving the WBA a call to get a shot back at my WBA regular title. Here to New Jack City. Nino Brown Boxing, and I'm back in the building. Shout out to LDBC. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. I wanted to talk about my man Lamont Peterson today, a.k.a. King Pete, and how I feel that it is very imperative for Lamont Peterson to call the WBA to try to get back his WBA regular title. Now, I said it because we all know the WBA regular champion is currently Manny Pacquiao. Now, I'm proud to that Prior to Manny Pacquiao having that regular title, it was held up by Lamont Peterson. Now, we all know Lamont Peterson, he decided to vacate that title so he can go after Earl Spence. So he can do what other guys in the division would not do. He decided that he wanted to go after a real title, not just a regular title. And he stepped up, he got stopped, and he lost. But I feel like a guy like Lamont Peterson should definitely be rewarded. He should be rewarded. Because there's so many guys in the division ducking and dodging the top competition. So if I'm Lamar Peterson, I'm calling the WBA and I'm saying, hey, I lost to Earl Spence, but I want to get a shot back at the title that I once held. It's not a guy calling trying to get special favors. It's not a guy calling trying to get something that he never had before. The situation with Manny Pacquiao and Lamar Peterson is not completely different. Now, granted, we know Lamont Peterson was stopped. Manny Pacquiao got an opportunity to fight for that vacant title when he came off of a loss against Jeff Horn. Now, he's been out of the ring. He was out of the ring for an extended period of time, and he got his opportunity. Now, prior to that, Manny Pacquiao wasn't the WBA regular champion at all. And to my understanding, I could be wrong, I don't remember Manny Pacquiao ever holding a WBA regular title. Now, to me, I think it's a perfect situation. I don't know if he's tried it before. I have notes. Even though Lamont Peterson is a local guy, maybe I should reach out and see if I can get some information. But Lamont Peterson trying to get back in um, back in that WBA rankings, putting himself in position to get a Manny Pacquiao fight, I think is brilliant. According to the WBA, and we all know they like to make up their own rules and they do what they want to do on the, as a, on the fly, currently Keith Thurman is still the WBA super champion. Now, we all know the WBA, they all have a super champion, a regular champion, a champion of recess, and all this other bullshit. But right now, we know that Manny Pacquiao has the WBA regular title. That is the WBA champion that's supposed to satisfy mandatories. If I'm Lamont Peterson, I am calling the WBA, telling them that I want my opportunity to get my old title back and fight Manny Pacquiao. If I'm pushing for this hard, I know Lamont Peterson, he's not the type of guy, he doesn't get on social media and become very vocal about what he wants, but I think this is an ideal situation. Now, granted, Manny Pacquiao is getting older, he's on the downslide, so worst case scenario, he doesn't get the Manny Pacquiao fight. Manny Pacquiao retires and he vacates. Lamont Peterson being in that position, it's a definitely a great opportunity because when Keith Thurman comes back, if the WBA stays consistent about them wanting to consolidate all of their titles, and even though their recent actions have shown that that plan that they spoke of over a year or two ago is not exactly going as court in the plan, if I'm Lamont Peterson, I'm like, okay, I already fought Spence. I lost. Um, I fought Danny Garcia. He didn't give me a rematch when we were down at 140. Uh, I never fought Sean Porter. I'm trying to get in there, get an opportunity to fight either Manny Pacquiao or Keith Thurman. Even though Manny Pacquiao is a regular title, it's still a good payday for him. It's still an opportunity to make his name relevant. It's an opportunity to move himself up in the Walter Wright rankings and continue to um, be a top contender. I think it's just a perfect opportunity for the guy. I like Lamont Peterson. He wanted all the smoke against Earl Spence. Could he handle it? He handled it for as long as he possibly could, and it was man down. But it's all good. Why? Because the state of boxing right now is full of duckers, it's full of people that are strategically moving around, and I feel like the guys that put themselves in a line of fire to give the fans the tough fights and fights that they want to see, to give the fans what they want to see, 
when it comes to um, people willing to step up. People may not have wanted Lamont Peterson against Earl Spence. Me personally, I believe it was a good fight and I was hyped for it. But Lamont Peterson versus Earl Spence wasn't a fight that the fan base was, you know, glamoring over. And that's fine. But the one thing that the fan base definitely wanted, we wanted guys to step up and put themselves in a position to fight Earl Spence, to fight the top dogs. And that's what Lamont Peterson did. And he should definitely be rewarded for it. So calling up the WBA, see if he can put himself in a position to get a shot at Manny Pacquiao, regain his WBA regular title. And if he doesn't win, at least he tried. And where he goes from that, honestly, I don't know. But I truly believe that Lamont Peterson has an op- He has the ability to be the older, especially an older Manny Pacquiao. And with Manny Pacquiao coming off his victory against Lucas Matisse, he got a knockout that he um he got a knockout for the first time in a long time. It's going to be a lot of hype surrounding that fight. You know, the promotion behind the fight, it'll be pretty damn good. Now, considering uh, considering how Bob Arum possibly may be working with PBC in the future when it comes to matching up Terrence Crawford, even if it's against some of the lower-tier PBC fighters, whatever the case may be, it seems like Bob Arum may can – try to creep in there and sway Manny Pacquiao to go this route. I don't know, man. It's just speculation on my side. But I feel like it would be a great move for Lamont Peterson. It would be also a great move for Manny Pacquiao. Now, granted, I would love to see Manny Pacquiao fight an Errol Spence, a Terrence Crawford, a Keith Thurman, a Danny Garcia, Sean Porter. But the chances of that happening are slim. I don't want to keep seeing him fighting the Lucas Matisse's of the world or the, the guys that are not top-tier competition moving up from 140, hit the hell with that. Unless he's going to fight Lomachenko, and some people aren't really calling for that fight, me personally, I would love to see how that fight would go. Outside of that, fight Lamont Peterson. Give the man a shot as his previous belt. You won the Manny Pacquiao. You won the vacant belt, even though the belt is pretty much meaningless. You won it vacant because this guy dared to do something that Manny Pacquiao would not consider to do, and that's face Earl Spence Jr., that's my take on it, guys. It's Nino Brown Boxing. Shout out to the LDBC. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. I'm out.